finisher. To be a finisher of the UTMB, to finish this mystical loop of 168 kilometers around Mont Blanc, to climb up and then go down 9,600 meters in less than 46 hours, is the opportunity to assert oneself, to realize an exploit which we would never have considered possible, to run and walk for hours, days and nights in search of oneself, of a personal, free and useless fulfillment. At the finish, exhausted but happy faces, gestures of victory worthy of Olympic champions to express a joy which few sports can procure. At night, the hours pass more slowly. You have to grit your teeth and wait for daylight. But the second dawn of the race is a magical moment. Well, it's been a long time, long time Since I've seen you smile. During a UTMB, the runners encounter a palette of emotions which pass from fear to courage, from pain to euphoria, the whole alternated by doubts, where hope and despair are your most faithful companions. You have ups and downs, especially during the night, almost alone. It's really hard. Some moments are really, really difficult. It's a dream. It's the first time for us. And the last time, and the last time. It was really hard. Really. It's better with a friend, always together. There are moments really hard here. And if you're alone, it's much more difficult. Your friend helps you during the hardest moment. What's the most difficult? Everything. All the way up, downhills, and uh, spending two, two nights outside. It was very hard for me. It's the hardest thing I have ever done. <laughs> You need huge resources to do that. It's incredible. The mountain has made itself beautiful to glorify the effort of the anonymous people, but are they only profiting from the beauty of the area? Does the effort worth the view? Of course. It's the reason why we do it. Looking at the sunrise on the Mont Blanc, seeing the glaciers with this view, it's wonderful. But we have to come back, even if during the race you swear not to, but we will come back. The runner is only passing through, and running is their way of being connected to the world, to be connected to landscapes, smells, colours, and to make all these elements into an intimate relationship. In a society which makes a precautionary principle the driving line, it is astonishing to see so many people defying reasonable rules. There is a real desire to move one's personal mountain. Uh, 
c'est quand même It's très, very, très very hard. Not just about the kilometers, but also the ground, the rocks, the mud, the rain. Anyway, it's done. C'est fait. <laughs> the mountains are so big, too big, <laughs> and beautiful. You have fun? Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of fun. But now I am sleepy. <laughs> I've never been in a better shape than now. Pourquoi? Why? Because there's only one little downhill to glory in the streets of Chamonix. We are all doing this for it, aren't we? Each time that you are at the checkpoint, that you're getting closer from the finish line, from the arch, that you're getting closer from the finisher jacket, which you wanted so bad, for which you trained it so hard, the emotion gets bigger each time. To be honest, now, I'm thinking about my wife, who made so many sacrifices during my preparation. I'm thinking about my parents, who came here to be with me, and I imagine their joy. I'm thinking about my friends, who supported me, and I'm thinking about all those hours of training, alone. And in this kind of morning, You feel that it's worth it. All of us are not champions, but with a passion, with some bravery and some luck also, this kind of race like UTMB shows that everyone can achieve things that he wouldn't think being capable of. And all of this in an absolutely wonderful environment. The runners at the finish had the right to the much envied title of finisher. From the first to the last, they are all winners. Winners of their fatigue, winners of their sufferance, their doubts, and winners because an impossible challenge became accessible 